Now this is the Raphaelesia. And strange as it looks, it's actually the largest flower in the world. You, you could be forgiven for thinking it isn't a flower at all. I mean, to me, it looks like some alien being has just dropped here. But it is strangely impressive. Look at that. It's almost impossible to describe. I'm lost for words. It's, it's warty. It's completely unflower-like. These plants rot away within days of flowering and their natural habitat's in decline, so I'm really lucky to find this, I guess. This thing is incredibly weird looking, but it's also pretty nasty smelling. <laughs> it's difficult to describe the smell, but um, it's like sort of maggoty, rotten flesh. The reason why it smells so bad is pretty much the same reason any other flower smells good. It's to attract pollinators. And if you're looking at roses or a colourful cottage garden, you think bumblebees or butterflies. But here, the pollinator is nowhere near as attractive. It's the latrine fly, and that name should give you a pretty good idea of what it likes to feed on. Feces and rotten flesh. While the Rafflesia plant itself is no threat to us, the flies it attracts with its putrid smell are. If the bacteria and disease they carry get into your mouth and into your digestive system, you're going to get really sick. So, if you stumble upon one of these very rare plants, keep your mouth shut and set up your picnic elsewhere. 